FIRE means financial independence, retire early. And it's really a philosophy around leveraging your income in a really smart way so that you don't have to work for so long. Um, but for a lot of people, I think retirement scares them. Retiring early, trying to figure out what you're gonna do with your free time scares people. And I think my message or our, our message for the blog is that don't let the RE be a red herring for the FI. The FI means you have choices that other people don't have. You can do things that other people can't do and you can live a way that really benefits you and your family. Um, while you're young and while those years are really critical. And I mean, I think about it as a, you know, runners, right? You've got two types of runners. You have some people that sign up for the for the, the marathon and then a few people that sign up for the sprint. I think FIRE is really those hardcore people uh, that are willing to do the uphill sprint for a short period of time and to let that nest egg take care of itself uh, and to compound. And so you're really just front loading the nest egg, uh, which we just, we do that with a lot of things. You know, we front load the work uh, in our annual planning and so that we can kind of coast uh, for the rest of the year. But, you know, nothing is promised, you know, and so you can get tripped up in a number of different ways. And so for us, why not have one less thing, money, to have to think about? I'll also say that your consumption is what determines the timeline, mm -hmm. right? If you want it to be a shorter time period, then you have to do the work of figuring out how to live smaller, mm -hmm. live on less, get more creative. Um, if the obviously the larger your spend is every year, the longer you'll need because you have to save more money. But if you can learn to live at a at a good rate and get creative, then it takes as long as you need it to take. Yeah, um, no. th that's probably where we may venture from the hardcore fire community. We believe in everyday luxuries. We believe in elevating the everyday. And so we surprise and delight each other in little ways every day. It could be the gourmet coffee that we have. It could be the hand soap that we use, it can be the whiskey that we drink, um, or even the little ice cube molds. <laughs> like it really changes the cocktail if you use the ice cube mold instead of just like your fridge ice. Um, these are little nine and ten dollar luxuries that we have every day that help us really tap into what makes us happy. Um, so it doesn't feel like deprivation. We are not eating beans and rice for 80 days in a row or, you know, boiled chicken. We're <laughs> we're actually finding new ways to get creative and yeah. I think our travel allows us to see in other areas of the world where you can cook rice like 17 different ways. It can be crunchy, it can be chewy, it can be, you know, sticky. It can be a lot of different things. And it's cheap and delicious. And it's cheap and delicious, yeah. yeah. I always knew that pursuing fire would destroy my career on one end, but save my life on the other. And that was a trade-off that I was willing to make every single time. Uh, and I was okay with that, you know, that I, I don't have this, you know, high powered, but also high stress career anymore. But in return, what I do have are a boatload of opportunities to build a deeper, meaningful relationship with my wife, with my son, with our parents, right? And to be able to do things that were just absolutely not on the table uh, because you only get three weeks of vacation. You know, uh, this notion that you just sign up for that um, is one that we have completely shed and we are embracing a greater degree of ownership of our time. The one thing that I wanted to say was that it's amazing how much evidence people need to be convinced. There are so many things that we now take for granted from seatbelt laws to surgeon general warnings on cigarettes to uh, just basic civil rights, that at one point there was all of this evidence that was saying these are bad things, guys, these are harmful practices, cigarettes cause cancer. It took 30 to 40 years of evidence before it was like, yeah, it's probably not great to smoke while you're pregnant or on airplanes. The same signs are there for money and the rat race. The same signs are there. There are currencies being created that leave the banks out of the equation. There are people who are literally dying from stress. We're the sickest we've ever been as a country, even though we are the most advanced that we've ever been in science and in health. So there are all these signs that are there that fire is the smart thing for a lot of people to be doing. It's the thing that can ultimately save their lives. This is a movement that you don't have to dive into. You can take it as slow as you want to, um, but to at least start 
with understanding the basic principles of FIRE and your life can change. If you're making $50,000 or more, it is certainly achievable. Now, obviously, the timelines are different. Uh, the sacrifices that you may have to make may be different, but it's ultimately, it's simple math. If you can control your spending for a certain period of time and to reallocate your income and allow the markets to do the rest or to reallocate that income and to invest it into uh, areas that allow your money to grow, the math will ultimately work in your favor. Now, yes, it is easier if you are earning more income because you may have to make less sacrifices Sacrifices, but even that is not always the case. And so, uh, yeah, I certainly think it's achievable, even if you're not making a high income. Yeah, and I think it's about recognizing that your time is an asset. Mm -hmm. And so if you are not making a high income right now, you may need to sell a little bit of your time for money um, to, to get a, a nice baseline or a nice starting point and then put that money to work. And eventually that money can work harder than you can and you can dial back on right. using your time to derive more money. But this is a time, I mean, it's, it's an amazing time right now, despite all of the noise in politics and in the economy where you can drive a car for money, you can tutor, you can teach English. You can, there's all these different ways that you can generate money if you just have a little bit of time. And so, you know, recognize that your time is a, a great asset that you can leverage to generate some additional income.